Good morning, gang. Uh, so I thought I would do uh, kind of a live stream this morning. Uh, so I'm going to work on a picture anyway. Uh, so I thought this might be interesting for people who are getting into Mid Journey and are wondering what you're going to do with those pictures. Uh, so I'm in a uh, competition, an AI art competition right now, which sounds kind of ludicrous, but that's what it is. And the rule is that something has to be made in Mid Journey or AI art of some sort. So I've got some images here that I made. And I'm going to do is I'm going to bash them together, create something that doesn't completely suck. Uh, so I think the faces in Mid Journey are getting a lot better, uh, but in a lot of ways it's uh, still not amazing, and uh, I want to win. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do some Photoshop today. Uh, so if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Uh, I gave you the top-down view camera here-wise. Uh, I will fix that so that it isn't interfering with the layer stack or anything like that. Uh, so because a lot of people always ask me like where my hands are, how I'm, what I'm typing, and whatever. I'll kind of talk through what I'm doing a bit, but... Uh, this is just me wanting to work on this, and I thought that it might be interesting for people that are um, new to this kind of thing. Uh, so if you have any uh, questions or whatever, throw them in the comments. Um, I put a link to my Discord down below as well. We have a mid-journey room, and if you happen to be a supporter of this channel, there's a private mid-journey room, so it's not as quiet or not as crowded as the other one is. Uh, still not very crowded. All right, so the theme today is Alice in Wonderland. So <clears throat> that's what I did. I did a bunch of these Alice in Wonderland looking things in here. Um, and some of them, there. remember, I, th I think the goal going into this is that you don't need to have a perfect image. I have to have something I like about each image. Um, and these are all ones I generated in mid-journey. Um, and that's, uh, that's kind of where we're going to start. So I'm just going to kind of take some of these and go with them and see what I come up with. And uh, we're going to use a couple different tools, uh, mostly Photoshop, but uh, we may use Corel Painter as well. And uh, I may go back in Image Journey for other images, depending on what it is I'm looking for. But I think I have enough here that I can, I can get together with what I want. So these are just different ones I, I generated. Uh, so I'm using Bridge here, uh, which I love for viewing things. Um, and I think, uh, obviously I haven't done this yet. This is my first attempt at this image. Um, but I'm just kind of looking at what I like or don't like about them. I think I'm gonna start with, we'll start with this one. So. Um, just go in here. Oops. No, actually, I'm gonna. I have another open document here, and I'm not really sure why. So let's just open this one. Here. <clears throat> we'll just start with this, and I'll probably go with maybe this aspect ratio. We'll maybe look at that later. Um, so if you're new to Photoshop, um, this is not going to be a beginner level thing, but uh, I'll try and help you as much as I can um, as we're looking at stuff. So if you're picking up images and you're dragging them into Photoshop, if you drag them into the layer stack, it'll open them as new images. So you want to drag them into the work surface here, and it'll bring them in uh, right on top of everything. So I'm just going to grab that one, and um, I think one of these is... I, I do the light upscale as well as the full upscale. Uh, sometimes the light upscale is better, um, at least what I'm for what I'm looking for. I'm going to grab this one too. Because I like the face in this one, and the rest of the image is fine too. This is, this is fine. Um, so let's just start with uh, with this. I think I like this kind of weedy background here. That's the, the part of this I enjoy. Uh, this one here, I like the dress. Um, so let's steal the dress. Uh, so I, I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna knock this down to 50% opacity so I can see through it kind of sort of and put it about where I want it um, ish. I'm just kind of looking at the existing image um, I don't want to change uh, the proportion too much. I like the proportion of it, but um, I hate the dress in the other one. Or at least I, I don't like parts of the dress in the other one. Put it that way. Getting the face in about the same spot, something like this is fine. And uh, so let's go back. Is there anything in this that's weird? Yeah, what? what I, I, this whole growing random, uh, growing random things in the middle of the image is kind of fun. Uh, but not, uh, not something I'm appreciating right now. So I'm just going to grab the clone stamp here and get it to whatever that is. And we're not looking to perfect the image at this point, obviously. So just don't get don't get caught up in everything's got to be perfect. Okay, uh, that's the idea behind photo bashing is we are smashing these things together at a high rate of speed. And I don't really care about uh, a lot of this underlying stuff because it's probably going to get covered up anyway, right? Um, let's bring this in. So now I want parts of this dress here. So we'll put our mask on that. I'm 
just kind of tossing it in here super fast. And, you know, I don't like the bottom of this dress. That's why using the mask right in here is pretty handy because we can do um, the best of both worlds for either dress, depending on what it is that we like. I like this heart that's on here. do the slash so you can see the mask if you need to. It's kind of a handy command. It's just a slash here. I have my Dali invite as well. And a diffusion uh, something that I just got yesterday. I guess their bot isn't ready yet, so I'm supposed to get those today. So I'm going to try that out. But I've been really happy with... Um, Kind of the art aspects of what I'm getting out of Mid Journey, in truth. Very happy with that. It's inspirational. You know, that's the goal is it's trying to motivate me, uh, give me new ideas and things. So, what else we got here? We don't like this. Looks like I might have to find another image here for this part of the dress. We'll find out. We'll see what this looks like. So I put some jazz on in here because I hate uh, I hate dead air. So if you have a better idea, like if you want the Tibetan throat singing, which I keep threatening to put in there, or the uh, death metal bluegrass, well, then you just suggest away. Okay, so that's fine. Good enough. Uh, let's grab this head here. Just put it at 50% so I can see through it more than anything. Probably line it up. Sometimes I just fat finger it. X switches between black and white, so I'm doing is I'm drawing with the mask, and then I'm turning the mask off or on, depending on what it is that I need. So if you're wondering what I'm doing up there, this X key is very, very handy. Which of this do I want? I think I like the hair from... I like part of the hair from one of them. I don't know what this thing is, but I don't mind it. It's looking better already, right? Okay, from that to that. What else we got in here? What's in this one? I like the dress here. Some of the parts of this dress, I think. I think this dismembered rabbit head's pretty nice. That's, uh, mm-hmm. Festive is the word I'm looking for. I need to flip this because the light's in a different direction. You're a quiet bunch. <laughs> I expect a little bit more activity from you here. Feel free to chime in. Talk to me. Otherwise, it's me listening to jazz, which I can do without you. So 
I don't mind this red thing here. I think it's kind of interesting. Um, I kind of like it. Maybe I'll add it on both sides. Actually, what else is on this dress? Just that. Had a clean edge though, don't I? Um, maybe we'll keep that edge. Hold down the shift key to quickly draw straight lines. Using a Wacom Medium tablet here, which is my my preference for most most operations. And that's okay. I like it better than whatever that was. Still not perfect. We're gonna get rid of part of this maybe. Um, what's underneath this? Is this uh, decent? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, we'll go with that, and we'll make the we'll just split the dress in the middle, like it's a fashion thing, right here. Very fashiony that it's split like that. Um, I prefer this. the The screen tablet, um, it's hot under my hand. If that sounds completely lame, um, it just where's my dismembered rabbit head? Is that down here? Uh, they get warm under my hand, which I don't care for. I like I like part of this. I like this little these little ears here. Yeah, the idea of using um, using masks here makes your life a lot easier, so you don't have to get caught up in trying to erase layers and do all kinds of stuff like that. It's just like, <laughs> Look forward to the throat singing. Uh, David April, my buddy, how are you? Um, trying to get directional light mid journey. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't do that yet. David's been a friend of mine for a long time, but he lives like here. He travels around the world. He's got a great Instagram, by the way. All kinds of adventures. All right, what else? Are you um, I like aspects of these. Like this big, this, this big thing here. Do I like the other face? I think I do like the other face, actually. I don't know. I'm torn. But I kind of like this heart here. Um, it does Rembrandt lighting on portraits really well, though. Yeah, that seems to be its default. Um, which doesn't bother me at all, but yeah, it's, uh, it definitely, it definitely has a, a, a painterly style, which I appreciate. Um, Mid Journey's been giving me a ton of stuff to work on a blender. Yeah, you know, I've been doing the same thing. I've been, I've been having so much fun with it. Um, I got to figure out what I want to do with the blender work too, because I have a ton of that. I don't really do that in this channel, but this channel is starting to become like just me and what I like. Like I've been working on some stuff. I got a new laser cutter. I've been doing all kinds of goofy stuff with that. I have some people interested in what I'm doing there. I'm making a custom Catan board, which is kind of a fun thing. But it's because a lot of what I do is is in this virtual world here. I mean, aside from what hangs on the wall, and um, sometimes I just want to make something real. So I I will make. Um, Make things in a laser cutter. I got a 3D printer. It's making some stuff. I've got. Um, I make soap too for clients. I, don't, I doubt I'll do any of that on the channel here, but um, you know, the 3D printer thing is something that people are getting into or love to get into. Why I'm not erasing this in bulk, by the way, or doing this in a smarter way, is because I'm kind of like looking at the rest of the shapes as I'm on, as I'm erasing it to see what I'd like. Uh, I think there's other parts of the same file I'm gonna want. Pretty sure. To 
himself a playing card. Why is this sun? It doesn't it looks diffused to me, like it isn't a hundred percent. Oh, it wasn't a hundred percent, that's why. Uh, for some reason I had a really dark grey on there this whole time and not a black. Which is a problem. Kind of like that thing. Covers up whatever that train wreck is there. Or maybe I put it more like here. Maybe. Because there's another file I have. It's this one, which I kind of like the bottom of. edges though. into that dress. Maybe. So the goal here is, is obviously just to kind of explore it and uh, not outright dismiss something in case it's some, got some some merit here, but at the same point, I don't want it to be kind of geeky. can't hear that 3D printer in the background. It is mowing down some new legs for my laser cutter. Kind of a design flaw in it, so I made some new legs. And I put them online, and uh, I sold like a bazillion of them. Like, <laughs> and all of a sudden my wife's like, are you a factory now? And I'm like, well, I didn't mean for that to happen. God, that just that noise goes right through me. Is this red bag about to die, whatever this red bag is. Do I like that better than the red bag? I think I do. I've got to find a way to terminate this skirt, though. Um, um, luxury card store says she's he she has been <laughs> watching the uh, videos and learning a lot. Awesome! Thank you very much. David, crafting prompts are such an art, isn't it? Sometimes you be super specific. Yeah, you know, I've, I found somebody commented the other day, and it was a great comment. It said, some of my best work is four words or less. And it's, uh, it's not wrong. Some of my favorite ones are super, super terse like that. I gotta figure out how much of this I would like. Like, do I want to keep it all the way up here, maybe? Thing, 
And I don't need it perfectly symmetrical. Although, I want to see what the rest of this looks like if we get rid of this. Bring this all the way out. Kind of hard to hide the lack of arms thing going on there a little bit. So let me know, is this is this helpful? Is this something you guys are, are enjoying? Is this something you want to see more of? Obviously, I'm just kind of... I was going to play with this anyway. And I didn't know if this was something that my YouTube audience would want to see it all or not. So give me some feedback and let me know. I think I like that. This, uh, we have to fix this anyway. So I'm just going to leave it broken like that. Let me leave this like that. And then this thing here. Oops. Let's, let's move that to the top here. And there's some junk going on in that file. Um, leave that up there for the second we'll finish fixing this thing here. Um, you uh, you want to see more of this? That's awesome. Enjoying while I work. Good to know the takes techniques are out there. Yeah, this is just one of I mean a, a great many. I've seen some people do some photo bashing that I just find amazing. And this is my weak ass attempt at that, but. It's something I have done for other projects. And it's more or less just hide and seek with, you know, other imagery or stock photography. For instance, I use a lot of my own photos. I was going to actually use a, uh, one of my client's faces on this, but um, I don't like the, the lighting direction for this matching some of my other work. So I did not um, bring that in. playing card almost I think uh, tarot card was one of the um, one of the things I used I'm gonna hit save by the way because I haven't been hitting save not a very big file though. compared to my regular stuff um, just make sure this is 16 Sandy, check. Do we like this over here? Do we like this better? I think I like this better. Up to a point. What are we doing on the other side? We're about the same. Let's do that. Then. Let's do whatever that thing is. Bony protuberance. Okay, with that and with that red bag thing over here. Just get, I just want some some wiggle room in here. Face is good the way it is. I think. So to make sure I got it all. You know what? She actually has something. She has something on her chest. Yeah, she has a big heart. I did want that. Hey there, new subscriber to the channel. Great content, by the way. What are some of your opinions to write prompts? Um, best ways to write prompts in your opinion? 
Um, I'm actually going to do a whole video on prompts because I have found a bunch of stuff that I think is super helpful for getting what I want out of this because I was able to get pretty much exactly what I was looking for um, and it wasn't significantly difficult. Uh, there were some hiccups, of course, but uh, for the most part, I was pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a whole video on on prompting. Um, but um, I think short and sweet helps a lot. Uh, getting, just getting started. Uh, finding an artist whose style you like is pretty important. Uh, that's that's a big part of this. Is is finding. Um, Finding someone that motivates you um, so you can kind of say, hey, this is the type of work I want to create. Okay, let's liquefy the crap out of this thing. It's funny that liquefy doesn't allow use of the um, the uh, drag, drag zoom. Just big moon thing is here, I guess. We'll keep it. Make it more moon-like. It's kind of lumpy. I don't want it lumpy. Face is a nice shape. I'm happy with that. I don't know what this thing, this crown is, but we might, um, probably gonna replace that. So we're not gonna go. Like um, using the right style and having a decent reference is something very specific. Uh, let's recommend a technical language if possible. Establish that wide angle. Yeah, that that's all good. I think um, I think a lot of the prompting is is letting the engine kind of give you some surprises. I usually go in with a rough idea of what I want, but I want to be open minded to what it's going to hand me. Um, so a lot of it has been been that for me anyway. Um, but artist reference knowing what artist you like and giving it a, a reference there. not not abusing semicolons that's a big one um, people put semicolons between every prompt that's not how the engine is supposed to work they're supposed to be that's for combining multiple multiple things so for example if i did a uh, tarot card and i should do colon colon and then alice in wonderland i will get it trying to render two things and smashing them together and say I want more Alice in Wonderland you can actually put a one everything is 0.5 so you could do Alice in Wonderland colon colon 0.5 would be but its default is but you could say make it a one and you can push it further to more Alice in Wonderland and less tarot card um, so there's a whole bunch of, of things along that lines so let's go in here now and fix some of this Again, I'm just not, I'm not trying to get this perfect. I just need it to be better than it is. What's up with your eyes, girl? That ain't looking good. You should have that looked at. Symmetric, uh, symmetric size, symmetric fate. Make this the same. Whatever the word I'm looking for in here.
Yeah, I found the prompting... I mean, it's... In a way, it's almost becoming the art form now, right? Because this thing is going to give you amazing art anyway. Um, and once you get this done, maybe you can even brag about the fact that you've made art, you know, instead of... I, I'm getting cracked up by the people who do... They type in a prompt and they're like, oh, I'm an amazing artist and I put this up for sale. Like, yeah, that's a... Uh... This is not even art. This is barely, barely counting in my mind. Because I didn't make the pieces to start with, right? I guess there's a whole... There's a whole school of thought there that we're going to get into over the coming months as this AR art stuff starts to take off. And you guys are all early adopters. Look at it that way, right? What you're doing now is not really... The general public isn't really into it yet. Or they will be soon. I think there's some people uh, praying into that um, by saying that they're the artist behind all these things. I'm an amazing painter. <laughs> using the clone stamp here. Just... I think behind her head, maybe behind uh, those moon things. Let's get them here, perhaps. Let's use. Flatten it. I didn't mean to. Oh no. Okay. I'm like, what did I do there? Every so often I get, I get, I move too fast, and I'm like, no, oh, what I did too. I got rid of the part that I was looking to keep. Holding the shift key is a quick way to go around. I think I like this white part here, so I'm going to keep that. Showed it to your sister and she showed her kids she teaches. Yeah, it's, it's just, um, it's amazing. I hope it doesn't hurt um, people who are deciding to go to school for art and decide not to do it because I don't think there's any money in it anymore. That's the only downside to this thing. I mean, it is trained on art that people have done, so it is really human art that it has taken and made its own. I have to decide, do I want her hair to show to me, or do I like this thing to show to me? I'll make it both. I think I'm just put it right over the top of her head, because I don't like whatever that other thing is. I like this little red mark in her face, though. Let's, let's align this right on there.
pieces of this one I kind of liked. Let's throw a blending mode in it. Do I have an upsizing tool uh, or do I use post-production upscaling? I do. I use Topaz. Um, is it Topaz? It's some sort of AI. Uh, type it in here. Uh, Gigapickle. Yeah, to Gigapickle. To Topaz AI uh, is a... Um, they have a thing called a, a Gigapixel. Let's take this and put it in a blending mode and see what kind of... See if there was something in there that was interesting. I like this upper part of this. the AI gets to the point where we can make it full art, no errors or issues. Um, this will serve as inspiration for two artists and not as a prompt. Yeah. To me, this is simply a, a almost like skipping the sketching phase. Uh, that's really all it's doing. It's not, um, I'm not trying to use it for anything else. It's just the, the um, that phrase in this for me, or that phase. Okay, so let's um, Let's save this off and let's take this to a different program here. So we're going to do, um, let's save this, let's save it as a PNG. misspelled Alice. Oh, yeah, I did this one. If you guys haven't seen this weird-ass piece of art I made the other day. Uh, this is using my friend Sabrina's face. Um, and then I just brought it in. This is, an, this is actually on the channel somewhere here, I believe, as another video um, of me doing that. But uh, I've got all kinds of crazy stuff going on. This piece of software frustrates me because it, um, it's, it doesn't use the same key commands that everything else does, so it kind of frustrates me. do this in Photoshop too, but I, I just think this is it's more natural looking when it's done. Um, what brand of pen holder is this? My hand? No, this is a, a Wacom. Uh, tablet. It's a medium. You can do this in Photoshop, by the way. I just prefer Painter for this this part. So if you're wondering why I switch programs, I just I just have a preference here. Not any big deal. You can 
use the smudge brush in Photoshop uh, probably to the same exact same effect. But what I'm looking to do in here is a little more, I want a little bit more of an artsy pull to it. So I can't, I don't have any brushes in Photoshop that I enjoy this way. So I've been using Painter for God, I don't know how long. Uh, this is Corel Painter 2021. I didn't update to the new one because I haven't checked that in a minute. This is the same company. This here, what a mind blowing fact. This is the same company that is the owner of Word Perfect. Remember? I don't know if you're old enough to remember Word Perfect. Uh, they still make it and they're still paying people to write it. And I think that's just funny to me. Like, really? You, uh, you guys haven't given up on that yet? If you don't want to use this, uh, there's another option. You can use Krita. Um, that is. Bring that up too. Uh, Krita is free. So if you want a painting simulator that's not as much money as Coral Painter is, uh, this is another good option. Um, it's got a completely different learning curve to it, but uh, it's it's pretty good. Oh yes, this this is this pen holder is yes this is part of the Wacom. This is the Wacom pen holder. Sorry, yes, it's my Wacom pen. Holder. Now we're here. This is a 3D mouse. If you all wonder what the hell this thing is, this is for Blender and ZBrush, which are the other two applications a lot that I use quite a bit. Um, so those um, those all have little things that make life easier, and that's what I want for. Larry's was per really? Wow. Why? <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's mind blowing. Like they still have people on staff by that. I'm like, you you're see that's the thing I keep doing. You notice I keep using my Photoshop shortcuts to try and do stuff in here and I just frustrate myself. I like this tree, this happy tree right here. I don't want to get rid of it. I'll just kind of work her skirt into this a little bit. I like this mandala thingy. Gosh, it's consistent. Smashing this wrong button repeatedly. And then in here, we kind of smash all this together. That's why I wasn't so worried about it originally. Um, you're going to go now because you're struggling to hear me over the music. Oh, I turned the music down. You just say I say something. That's all you got to say. Um... It's all you gotta say. Nobody said anything. I can't uh, can't tell what you're hearing. I just don't like dead air. That's my thing. I just have the music on. Um, your experience is dodging and burning the secret to depth um, photos as opposed to using a contrast lighter. Yes, absolutely. Dodge and burn is my baby. I love dodge and burn. I use it a lot. A lot, a lot. I might borrow hair from another image, actually. I'm not really loving this one so much in here. Okay, so that might be enough in here. So let's go back to Photoshop, I think. Um, tuck that up a little bit. I think I ruined it. There we go. Is that better? Still don't love this part right here. Mm -mm. We'll take this back to Photoshop. Uh, yeah, I use non destructive dodge and burn as well. this on top of what we were working on. Uh, 
so we can keep going. All right, so do we need any other, I want some other part of that dress is bothering me. Um, do we have maybe this one? I like this part here, let's borrow that part. What's non-destructive dodge and burn? I'll show you actually, because we're gonna do it in a minute here. This gold thing wasn't here. Yeah, that's not gonna be ideal. What's this look like in here? Maybe I don't like it. <clears throat> I might have to go and generate something new if I can't find something I like. I wonder if we can use. Uh, With 3D mouse, should you get? You should totally get the the 3D connection, but don't get this one. Get the small one, the one that's uh, the tiny one, because I don't use these buttons a lot, and I kind of I kind of wish I hadn't done that. So um, that would be my recommendation. I'm very happy with it. I'm just looking. At, I'm looking at these transitions in here to see if I can steal one of those for in here. I think I can. So let's try. See if I like that better. Just trying to see what I like here. Just borrow this piece here. Oops. Yeah, that'll work. Actually, that might work better than I think it does. Uh, I prefer to make images look punchy. After a long search, I discovered dodging and burning, although it's much time consuming. Yeah, I do I do dodge and burn on almost every photo that I create. So I'm a full-time photographer for all of you who don't know that. Uh, that's I'm a boudoir photographer, so I shoot photograph mostly women. All day long. Um I only need this part of it, I think. There's another part of it over here, I like two. I can't remember where it is. This, this one here, yeah. Like this little flap here was convincing me that there was other goodness happening. Yeah, so I do a lot of, I do, I do that and I'm a body painter as well, so I paint a lot of people. And then, um, then I Photoshop them. I make all kinds of art from the, that, and that's really fun. It's a great combination of the two of uh, traditional art on top of um, art that I've made myself, which I really like. So this is trash. Maybe that light. Maybe that light blue is not a problem. Is it a problem? It's not great. So let's let's go and borrow from this. And I'm using a lot of layers to try and um, not uh, you know, call it be destructive with this, but um, at the same point get rid of what I don't want in here. So this this layer here is only using is only copying stuff from current and below. And this is that that white collar over the top of that. I 
ちにしたら7駅に。What's this? I want part of that. Do I want part of that? Like, no, maybe not. Have I ever tried drawing? Yeah, I draw quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, I'll tell you the the secret to Mid Journey. The absolute secret to Mid Journey is get rid of the square aspect ratio. The square aspect ratio is the thing that kills you because it doesn't render faces and stuff correctly uh, at that point. It it really gets messy. So if you turn it to, uh, like, these are all two by three, um, you just get a much better result out of Mid Journey, in my opinion. So first thing you got to do is get rid of that square. So I put AR 2 colon 3 at the end of everything. And you can actually make it a preferred, um, a preferred option. So like if I hop on my, if I'm on my Discord here, I can do um, uh, preferred preferred suffix, and then just do ar um, two clone three, and then from that point forward, all all of them will be portrait oriented, and you will get a lot less of the heads getting lopped off, and that kind of stuff. Oh, the banana. That's um. Top secret. Eric here, we can talk about the banana. It's a secret. It's a Photoshop uh, Easter egg, actually. I could share the, the secret of the Photoshop Easter egg if you really want me to. I'm trying to decide if I want this skirt to go up further. Um, this is the only part of this that I'm really not happy with. You know what I think I want to do? I think I'm going to liquefy the crap out of it. Right in there. Let's see what kind of stuff we can do here. fighting with it so much I should just have done that a long time ago um it's same portraits uh watch my video yeah I bring in the luck is that what you're saying that the in the mid journey bot loves loves it when you watch my my live stream could be it I don't mind some of these repeating elements either like normally I would be freaking out about that um trying to get rid of it but in here I think it's actually kind of interesting Okay, that's pretty good. Now, let's just fix another couple of little goofy things like this here. Um, okay, make that symmetrical. Ish. Especially around this edge. That's the edge that was bothering me. Let's fix this first. I'm getting a lot of that coming through here, so I'm just gonna smash a bunch of this in. Again, doesn't that be perfect? Oh, that's not what I'm looking for at all. 
Yeah, see, I want to take it back into Painter now. I don't like this part up here. You know what? I'm just going to borrow it from the other side as well. I think. Rather than fight it. Should have done that to begin with. Something like that, maybe? This is the non-professional way to smash pictures together. So if, you're <laughs> if you think this is the, the best thing you've ever seen, yeah, it's not. This is uh, totally a bastardization of a bunch of different uh, methods, but it's fun, right? And that's the part of it that's neat. It's just fun. Relax and make some stuff happen. Really like how the color pops in the shoulders. Uh, dodge and burn. Not yet. We're going to do that in a second. Uh, redundancy is super useful. Um, really specific about eyes. Yeah, that helps too. I had a video on that um, where I mentioned that redundancy is one of those key things. Uh, talk about what you want to the bot and, and then rephrase it in another way. Um, you can get a lot of better looking art, I think, through that mechanism. All right, I'm going to borrow. Um, I think I like this heart above her head here. I like this part here. I'm just going to borrow that. Get rid of this. There, I'm gonna make another one. Actually, rather than guessing, let's let's flatten all this stuff here. Just I don't need this either. So let's uh, let's figure out what we're what we're gonna do to kind of bring this thing and take it to the next level, right? So let's grab. We gotta figure out what we're starting with here. What's everybody doing this weekend? Anything fun? This is my fun right here. Obviously, I'm gonna have more fun than this, but <laughs> this is my my fun for the moment. Uh, what are my tips on animal prompts? I haven't really done any. Um, any animal prompting yet that's that's not uh not a typical thing for me um, i'll probably end up doing some at some point though but right now that's not really my my jam right now i'm just finding all the um all the uh, parts that are going to be part of the golden ratio so if you're trying to do um, if you're trying to lay something out and you're you're using a rule of thirds, you're you're not doing that right. This is uh, this is a proportional. This is how you find the proportional parts of the image. Uh, and I'm almost done here, and then we can start drawing on it. But um, this is my method for quickly finding the parts of the image that are really where the eyes are going to be focused. So, and we nailed it right across the eyes here. That's perfect. Can't beat that. Hearts are in a good spot. Take all this stuff and flatten it. Uh, floating around. That's 
just want a rough guide to see how things are going. That looks very good. Like we've got nice compositional rules uh, and everything lined up. It's like I guess I don't need that anymore. I was just sanity checking it because um, I don't have a I don't have a an armature that's this aspect ratio because it's a weird aspect ratio. All right, so let's dodge and burn. Everybody keeps asking about dodge and burning. So there's there's a whole bunch of ways to do this. Um, I do not use the dodge and burn tools because I think they're terrible. Um, and they've always been terrible. So the way I tend to do it, I've my, my favorite way is to just create a, a blank layer uh, and then fill it with 50% gray and then change this to overlay. So the way that, that this works is that anything uh, that is white uh, will be screen and anything that is black will be multiply. So that's really all you're doing, but you're gonna do a really low flow, right? So you can come in and you can you can brighten different aspects of the image here. Play with whatever parts you want to play with there. to this here and there. Uh, another thing, so that looks pretty good on the face, I kind of like that. Um, another way to do this, or another thing we could do to it, um, which I like to do quite a bit, is let's just go find like the highest uh, contrast in here. Um, so I, think, um, I think the green channel. So we're just going to take the green channel and we're going to make a new, um, oop, not a level, what are we doing? I want a curve. I should use that same thing. So this curve is only affecting the brighter parts of the image that way. So we can we can introduce contrast like this. Or adjust it, or we want to adjust it. But the mask looks like this, so it's a completely different look. <clears throat> Does it like that? I make an action for that guide placement. I can't um, because it varies with uh, when well, I'm not on a Mac either. If I was on a Mac, I could, but the PC doesn't have the same scripting language that the Mac does. Well, I was going to look for hair. Um, I want better hair than what we got. I don't think we've got any good hair. That one's okay. Yeah, they do, but it doesn't work very well in, in this situation. If you're using the crop tool, I guess I probably could have done that with the crop tool, but um, I didn't. Crop tool. Yeah, you can change this to the um, golden ratio. But I want um, actually, well, I guess the triangle would actually be the closest uh, to what I was looking for because the, the triangle at least is giving me the same start guide there. By the way, we have some junk floating around outside of that that, that uh, canvas there, which I did not notice before. Let's get rid of that. Let's uh, set other stuff from when we brought other images in. You want to keep track of that, by the way. You want to you want to keep that stuff in control, um, especially if you're working really really big images. Like this image isn't very big, so you know, 32 meg. That's a toy. <laughs> That's tiny. Wow. Yeah, normally we're doing something that's uh, two, 2 gig to 3 gig in there. Um, whatever this is going on in here is driving me up. So. Use the mixer brush with a different head on it. I was gonna do this. I'd do it in. Uh, I'd use a different tool. I would use um, Painter again. I wouldn't do it in here. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna fix this arm, um, and I don't quite like the hair yet. Let's like take it back to Painter. 
and we'll do one more quick adjustment with this. And it's this one over here. No. The name of the file we're working on. That long ass thing. Oh, I can't. Can I open that in here? I don't know sure I can open a tip in here. Yeah, it's gonna pitch at me. Knew it. So we're just gonna take, um, we'll save this out of Photoshop here as a different thingy. As a PNG, because we don't wanna, we don't wanna get hit with any loss as we go, or we're gonna just call this Alice 2. Just so we've got redundancy. Yes, it Z key isn't zoom in here. It's M for magnify. We drive it really not. All right, so let's see. Um, I don't want to use this in here. There's a whole bunch of stuff we could do to this. Um, oh God, please stop bitching me about that. Um, let's find. There's so many. So many brushes in this application. Let's try this palette knife here. See if we can do that's the digressing. I think uh I like that one. It's close. It's just too damn big. Let's be stronger. Is PNG PNG better than TIFF? Uh, no. TIFF is better, but the trouble is that TIFF, um. TIFF uh, is not read by a lot of um, a lot of applications, depending on what uh, depending on what it's set to. God, that's a horrible bunch. What am I thinking? I'm just trying to find one here that I know what I want, and I can't. Most those brushes will not load into this version of of um, Painter, which frustrates me uh, because I've been using the same version forever and. Um, You know what I wanted? I know what I want out of this thing, and I'm not getting it. What am I supposed to do? Sorry. I'm having a moment. <laughs> Are you, why are you fighting me today? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it in here. I can't get this to work the way that I want it to work. So we're just going to, we're going to, we're going to finish it in Photoshop, which you probably are all happy for anyway. Uh, do I use a full surface? No, I only use like this little window. I would recommend getting the, um, the small Wacom, not the big one. Um, I prefer the small one, personally. Let's find a different. Let's find a different mixer brush in here that we can use. That's not going to give me the same argument that um, Painter was. There's so many good brushes that come with this, but not really what I'm looking for. This one might be okay. Nope, I want something that's less stringy looking. Oh, let's go to Mr. Deharmay. 
great artist. Um, great artist. I bought a bunch of his brushes, but um, he is uh, he's quite the unfriendly character. Okay. I'm sitting there going, what are you doing here? I tried having a conversation with him in uh, on Art Station. I think it was. He was um, being, being special. I love his work, though. I need to turn on the pen pressure for this. I've turned it off by default in um, in here, and I'm having difficulties with uh, getting the kind of line that I want out of it. Is the pro more snappier feeling than the standard? I have no idea. No, I think they're I think they're probably the same. You don't um, I don't think one is better than the other. I, I just prefer the I, I got it originally because I like the the idea of the buttons on the side and I don't use the buttons at all. <laughs> so that was a waste complete waste of uh, of currency there. I just want to get rid of this harsh transition more than anything else. Yeah, I'm trying to think of somebody who uses but I don't know anybody who uses the buttons. Color isn't here, we don't need that. And these details, by the way, we're working at something that is so small that you're probably not even gonna notice it from uh, from the full image, you know. So now let's do one other thing to this. Um, I'm gonna throw a texture over the top of it. I like my textures. Uh, I make a bunch of textures. So people who join the channel here, you get a bunch of you get a texture every month that I make. And I've hand painted a lot of these, uh, and I have a lot of them, a lot of them. In fact, you can just go into the professional. A professional, by the way, gets all the Photoshop documents I work on, uh, so it's kind of like a benefit of membership. And I want to throw a texture over the top of this, kind of like this one. just to see if this is a positive. It's We're looking for artistic happy accidents here, right? We're not looking to, um, but hey, it's done. What do you think? I think it's so much better now. I'm just gonna look through these. I'm not judge them, just looking for some. So I'm gonna go through all of them. 
And sometimes there's just parts of the image that might benefit from something else. And I almost kind of like this as a black and white. Is that stupid? Um, so I think adding this um, as an as maybe a soft or maybe an overlay. I'm trying to think. I think that's interesting. Do I like that better? Is that destroying some of this down in here, maybe? Um, it might be a little bright for what I'm trying to do. Let's uh, let's try another one. We can try something that forces a center. This is for people that uh, like their, um, what do you call it, vignettes on pictures, which I absolutely hate. This is kind of the same idea. It's kind of a forced focus. I kind of like that, actually. And let's throw, just to look at what's out there, let's throw a color lookup on this thing. Start here. See if we can get inspired by something else. It's the evil version. Ooh, that's uh, kind of nice, actually. A little bit of a... Uh... I'm having a hard time deciding if I want this thing super saturated or if I want it like barely saturated. What is this? Uh, was it this? No, it was a uh, drop of blues, I believe. I don't remember where it was. Now. That's kind of nice. That's very different from what I normally create. <laughs> yeah, it's not too shabby. We could take this curve and move this up top here. Do we still need that curve now? I think so. Let's put one more curve on top of it and Let's go into the advanced tab for these things. And color balance it basically. Just white balance it this way. Instead of it being so warm, like do we prefer the warmth or not? What do you think? I'm torn. I think I prefer it this way, not as warm. But I'll let you guys decide and you tell me. Um, I just think it's more, uh, it's it's less mid-journey-esque this way. Mid-journey tends to take make things pretty warm. Um, face looks a little wonky. I think so. It's pretty. Again, we were really close in right here. Like this is this is how big this is, right? So this is um, oops, this is um, fourteen by twenty-seven inches. So yeah, white and not warm. I agree. I think that's the the better option there. Yeah. I never fixed my window over here. Nobody ever said anything. Hey, look at that. That's much nicer. You can even go further with this. Oh, I can't go further. All right, so that's the idea behind photo bashing, right? You, you're taking images, a bunch of different images, and you're smashing them together to try and find the best parts of them. And then... 
use whatever tools you're going to use to, to try and get there. And I failed a, be, a bit here and there today trying to make this uh, do what I wanted it to do. But overall, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Like, I think it turned out, it turned out nice. Um, it's got a good look to it. I'm going to walk away from it and then come back to it in like an hour and see if I'm happy with the colors and so on. But I think for the most part, I'm really, really happy with it. It, it uh, accomplishes all the goals I want to. I don't know if I'm super happy with this thing up here now, but um, we're kind of committed to it. <laughs> uh, what I might actually do, uh, I think that's the only thing I want to change right now. And I'm just going to do that real fast. We can do it down here because these layers up here are all non-destructive except for this curve. Um, which I don't know. Um, and it's also off center. So we're just going to get rid of that. We'll put it up there again. Um, but this, uh, I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to replace it with this heart. I think this heart is pretty cool. Um, so we're just going to grab that and replace it. So, or not, not totally, but you get the idea. So we're just going to say we want this part of it. We just got to get rid of this goofy edge here. I was looking at that thing above her head and originally and thought it would make a good hood and a crown. Yeah, it, I actually was playing with the idea of I had Queen as uh, one of the the prompts in here and I did not like the results I was getting it just kept fighting me so I eventually dropped it um, yeah Queen is a definitely definitely a, a thing I was getting from it and it just um, but now it's, a, it's such a visual distraction to me that I can't look past it so we're just gonna get rid of the darn thing but like if you see me in here like I struggle a bit in here and that's okay I mean, the whole idea behind this is to try something and and see if you can get what you want out of it and if you don't then be brave enough to suck at something new right that's the that's really the thing to walk away with is that I, I I'm, I'm struggling with this um, because it's new to me but I'm not scared to, to try something new there's nothing, nothing wrong with, with failing at something new, right? It, and especially if there's no harm in it. If no one's affected by this um, in my decisions to to make this today. You know, it's it's all it's all good. So you just gotta get out there and be prepared to try and, and do something interesting with it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of variation here so it doesn't look like it's all low, low texture kind of stuff. Maybe. You know what? I hate it. Let's, you know what we're going to do? We're going to steal some of this over here. I like this part here. Steal some of this. Steal a whole bunch of it. Oops. From here. Flip it over. We're not going to use all of it, but we're going to use part of it. Uh, it's also common to clip highlights and dodging and burning, or do you always remain the clip point of highlight? Yeah, you never, never clip, and never is a long time, right? Uh, never clip your highlights. Um, that's a huge no-no. There's no no benefit can come from that. So I'm gonna try a different blending mode on this and see if that. Um, I was thinking screen might be interesting, but it looks like it's not. No, we'll just leave it normal. And we'll just borrow pieces of it. I don't know if I want to fill the whole thing in or not. I'm just, I'm just trying this. 
It's on a separate layer, so it's easy for me to abandon ship here if I don't like it. But I'm and this white thing is bugging me, so I have to get rid of that too. But uh, I got an easy solution for that. Yeah, so I got that's why I got my laser cutter. And it's like I want to do something different. And and the first project I picked was to do a big Catan board. And my wife's like, that's a mighty aggressive. Like I like here's here's the pieces I'm working on in case you don't know what that is. But this is a there's my camera. This is the first piece I've worked on. So I laser cut. I designed all of it first of all, and then I laser cut it. Um, so they're all nice, and they get the numbers and whatever. These aren't glued together, obviously. I'm working on a whole bunch of that stuff. All right, does this look better? Do we like that better? I think I do, and it it ties this together. I don't know that I like it at 100% opacity though. Or maybe we just take and we blend it more we blend it aggressively right yeah maybe that's what it needs it needs to just not blend as aggressively something like that yeah i like that a lot better all right and then we'll just turn everything else off flatten this layer here apply this layer mask and then we can take all this in here and let Photoshop figure out what's supposed to be in there here Photoshop you you go figure that out I don't know what's supposed to be there okay, thank you that works for me except for this part here's a little should you try that again thanks thanks Photoshop do I have a focal point in mind or am I just winging it at her face her face. We did run a, a quick run through to see if um, everything made sense in here, and it does. There's a bunch of repeating elements up here that keep drawing my eye, though. Let's get rid of some of those. Do it by adding more repeating elements, apparently, is my solution here. That's not helping. Be prepared to suck at something new today, right? So I'm going to work on my Catan board a little bit. I've got to send off uh, some new feet I designed for my laser cutter because I don't like the ones that came with it. And uh, so industrial design is like a hobby of mine. So I just do some of that kind of stuff for giggles too because it's nice to, again, make something physical when you're done. Your eyes drawn on the top part first. Yeah, mine is as well. Um, well, I think we can help that a bit by adding a curve to it. That's the red part only, which first of all is fine. And let's do another curve. Hmm. I'm just thinking out loud here, like how I want to handle that. Let's do let's do this. Borrow this hue and saturation adjustment on here. Oops. Hey, look at that. I misclicked something and I kinda like what I did. Um this curve is misplaced now. There we go. And this is only applying here. Is it desaturated a bit maybe? Yeah, it has a lot going on, doesn't it? Um, maybe we we um, we embrace that, and we grab this heart now, and we do the same thing. Put that on top. I think that's better. Again, now it's a focal point, but uh, it's a focal point on purpose, right? It's not uh, accidental.
There we go. I'm pretty happy with that overall. It's better than what we started with, which was, um... Uh, somewhere. Try flipping the canvas. Yeah, that's a good point. I do that all the time, too. Control-H. It's uh, already on here. I don't like the hair so much, but... Um, I'm okay with it. Again, this is not for a client. This is just for me because I wanted to goof with something today. Um, so this is um, just a fun exercise more than anything else. I think I want... Um, let's go up here. Let's flatten this whole thing. And let's grab another one of these hearts here. I like these hearts. And let's just put... the blending of that because it looks like yuck maybe it's too big do I like it centered do I like it here Just trying stuff, see what happens. I don't know what this thing is. It still bothers me. Um, hey, Photoshop, what um, what's that supposed to be? It's a smeary mess, apparently. It's got. Thank you, Photoshop, for attempting to fix it. That's not doing a great job. Maybe. That's better. No, I think I'm happy with that. That's uh. It's different. It's got a, um, I don't know. I don't know that I'm super happy with this red thing up here, but it's there now and uh, I'm not gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Maybe. Let's try, uh, I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do one more little one. I'll do one more, um, but I'm gonna get rid of that heart because it's bugging me. And I think you're all right just gonna get rid of it and see if it's better so let's uh in order to get rid of it the smart way we're gonna do oops we're gonna do um we'll do a clone stamp up across the top like this and once we're out of the bounds then we can use um the content aware and get rid of it otherwise it'll make a red smudge everywhere yeah i think you're all right i think this is um better um, it's just it was just too much and that's why you're all here today you're all here to help me make something I don't care about all this texture in here. I think it's fine. It's interesting. It's different. It's like a moon. I mean, she doesn't use the top of her head, though, doesn't she? Uh, where's bridge? Oh, there we go. Do we have a top of a head that we can use? That's the bigger question. No. 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 Hmm. Well, we do have more. Do we have any more? Nope. We'll just have to fake it. We'll use some colors in here. I'm not gonna be able to draw that in. Word crap, it's gonna look like crap. Um, do I have any other images in my mid-journey folder? So my mid-journey folder is full of things I have been playing with. Like, uh, this was another Alice in Wonderland 
one that I did, but I really liked it not because it was Alice in Wonderland. I just think it turned out fabulous. Um, some of these were really fun too. <laughs> like, like that's awesome, but it's not Alice in Wonderland, but um, yeah. No, this has some good hair in it, actually. Um, yeah, let's borrow some of that. Like wherever this is here. I think we can use some of that, maybe. mask off a bunch of this real quick using a kind of a fiddly brush for this but I'm trying to do it so it doesn't look all um, masked out right I want to do it more organically I don't want to cover her face with it like this and just do a little bit more of that Take this one. Oops. Stretch it a bit. Oops. Let's apply this layer mask instead of we're doing it the hard way. Hate that one all of a sudden I click the wrong key. That's the reason I don't own a Mac, by the way. It's that damn command control key thing. I, I always hit that all the time and it drove me absolutely nuts. I like this better. This was uh this had a problem and now I'm I'm much happier with it. Let's take this side and liquefy it. That's not exactly the same. We can do the same on this side here. It looks a little alien, and I think because the white point is off on it, so let me fix that. Do I like that better? Well, no, but maybe we can find happy places for it. Here. Lighter color. Did that work? I can't decide. Do I like that better? Somewhere. 
or we put a heart up there, or something else that's fun. What if we put a heart up there? We left a heart. And what's this? That's a small one. Let's duplicate the other small ones. Okay. Still don't know that I'm happy with the hair here. Better than what we had, but it's too um, too aggressive, I think. What are your thoughts? Anybody have a thought on this? It's also a lot of hair. Yeah, I think we'll leave it as lighten. So I'm trying not to do anything that you guys can't do. Like, this is all just picking up pieces from photos and bashing them in here. There's nothing magical about it. Did you like my last selfie on Earth one? Yeah, it's completely random draw, and I absolutely love it. Um, this one has... has some nice hair too but no top of her head uh, simplifying the form yeah I'm I might need to it looks too 80s hair right now <laughs> I might try pieces of this one too um, Back. let's just let's just try let's just try different hair completely Almost like my hair better than what we had or what we're what we're doing now. I've decided that this is not the right direction. It looks like cartoon hair. This one is interesting, um, and we might be able to use part of it maybe. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with what I had and call it good because I'm wasting a lot of time on this now. Next seems a little off. Yeah. It's AI art, damn it. It's way better than it was. <laughs> yeah, the hair sucks. The hair does suck. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to probably just go into mid journey and try and find a better, some better hair because this is terrible. But hey, I like everything else. Like everything else about this image came together. But hair is always the hardest part anyway. So there's that. But I have to go and actually run an errand or two. So I won't be completely a waste of time today but um i need to fix the hair so and i have until monday to do it so the competition's not ready until noon monday so that's when this is gone so it's one on twitter it's a competition on twitter um so i'm on twitter as se detweiler so if you're on there find me uh, but it's a competition for uh, each week they draw a different ai art thing um so it's, uh, if I were to turn this in as it is now, I think it's okay. Like, it's it may not win, but it's nice. It's fine. It's just the hair sucks. So I need to do the hair. So probably just go into mid-journey and, and say, just throw me throw me back those um, those Alice in Wonderland pictures again. Reroll and, and see if I can get 
different pieces of hair again that I can bash appropriately and see what I can come up with. But yeah, it's just me struggling in Photoshop today. So you get to come along and play and watch what was happening. So hopefully you thought that was interesting and you learned something and you got to watch me struggle, um, which makes it real. So you know that not everybody's doing everything that's perfect every time. But um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. You guys were awesome. I think I, I love the interaction. Thanks for being interactive. Otherwise, I would have just done this on my own and not even not even done it with anybody. So you guys had great feedback. I get rid of that heart and... Um, fixing the little things that you guys have brought up really, really helped it come together. So awesome. Well, thanks everybody. You have a great weekend. I'll be doing another video here soon on uh, prompting and how to get things out of the engine. Uh, Cause I'm very happy with it. I'm, I'm able to get what I want most of the time um, or at least pieces of one again that I can put together. Uh, so I was pretty happy with how that turned out. Everybody take care, stay safe and uh, uh, be brave enough to suck at